Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today's video is a uh, Acula Drug Delivery System Part 2. So in the starting slide itself, I have showed you a very interesting ocular preparation. That is called a Sol Gel System. Sol means a solution. Gel means we know. Sol means solution. So drug is there in the container, in the eye drop bottle. Drug is there in the form of a solution. Drug solution is there. So we know that solution is having a less viscosity so that it makes us very easy to instill into the eye. Now what happened? When it eye drop, now we can call it as eye drop. When this eye drop will become in contact with the eye, it turns into gel. Because here gel is essential. Here solution is essential. Because in order to uh, instilled into the eye, frequent. So, solution is having a less viscosity, very easy to install. Okay, but here you must maintain the gel type system because strict adherence to the eye, cornea. Okay, so that drug will be there more time. Okay, suppose say here there is a less viscosity, it will be washed out very easily. That's why here you have to maintain the gel system. Here you have to maintain the salt system. This type of very wonderful formulation is there. So uh, we will go through this ocular drug delivery system. Uh, this is my mobile app. You can be downloaded from uh, the Google Play Store, Bar Matrix for exams. After downloading, uh, you go to the store option. So all my presentations are available in the form of a PDF. It is nothing but a notes. Same thing you can be right in the examination. See, definitely your score will be boosted. Okay. So all the courses are available. M-Pharm-C, uh, B-Pharm-C, Pharm-B. Important subjects are already there. Uh, the remaining subjects I will keep on uploading. And this is about my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option in my YouTube channel. Playlist. All subject-wise I have arranged all my explanation videos. Subject-wise. And if you click on each subject you will get a topic wise. So this is about your syllabus. Part 1 is already completed. It was available in the channel playlist. You go to the part 2 now. So ocular formulations. Okay. Accusers. Very, very important. Accusers. Introduction. Types. Preparation of accusers. Advantages. Disadvantages of accusers. All these things we will cover. First of all, we will see types of ocular formulations. How many types are there? Eye drops are there. Eye ointments. Uh, eye gels. Uh, uh, eye gel, like a salt gel system, what I have shown in the starting side. This is also called as a liquid gel. It is a liquid as well as it is a gel also. Okay. And uh, eye suspension and uh, accusers. The accusers are very, very important. Eye gels are very, very important. The remaining are all uh, alike. We take uh, only important points. That's more than enough. Eye drops. See, eye drops nowadays. Uh, uh, using frequency is reduced. Everybody, every doctor is preparing the eye gels, liquid gels, salt gels, uh, they are preparing. See, these are all eye preparations must be sterile, first of all. So these are the sterile, isotonic, liquid preparations meant to instill into the eye. Uh, it is a liquid preparation only, whereas a eye ointment is the semi-solid preparation. This is a semi-solid preparation. That's why this is called an eye ointment okay and liquid preparation it is having a low viscous so easily wash out easily it will be drainaged not preferable nowadays okay only five percent of the drug is absorbed and preparation we know that eye drops preparation it comes in the subject of sutics you have to adjust the isotonicity by class one methods for class two methods and sterilization is must okay this is about I ointment, we are using a mineral oil as a base and a drug we are going to be dispersed in the suitable one. Okay, this is also installation into the eye. This is not much important. This is a starting slide. Why I have to solve gel system. Here it is a solution. So we are using a polymer. That polymer having a, see here, it is a liquid nature so polymer. Okay, liquid nature. But Polymer, when it is in contact with the eye, there was a temperature difference, pH difference, ions difference. So due to these differences, polymer will be converted into cross-linked polymer. See here, cross-linked. So it forms a gel. This type are called as a gel uh, refresher liquid gel. 
salt gel liquid gel gel eye drops salt gel system okay salt to gel system it remains as a solution in eye drop bottle free flow it remains a gel on contact with the eye increased uh, contact time so higher bioavailability will get more contact time of the drug with the eye okay more preferable than the eye drops and this is a uh, accusers also called as ocular inserts it looks like this see here oval shape ocular insert you can see here white color ring is there this white color ring you can see here this is a accusert so it is made up of four layers one two three four layers definition accusers are defined as a sterile preparations it is a multi layer see here one two three four layers are there it looks like single piece but it is having a four layers multi layer solid semi solid uh, it device placed in a cool de sac this area is called as a cool de sac this uh, pouch this pouch when you pull like this you will get a, a pouch like structure when you pull like this okay this is called a cool de sac i will tell you what is cool de sac or also called as a conjunctival sac all size and shape are designed especially for ophthalmic application it is a type of drug dosage form meant for insertion into the eye it releases a drug at constant rate so instead of putting a drops every hour uh, one day uh, it not one day it remains a two days or three days in the eye itself it is very better so it is always better instead of using a eye drops for each and every hour this is better no so all these points you have to be right in the examination uh, this is called a cool de sac so this area is called as a conjunctival sac or also called as a cool de sac it is a area see here area between the bulbar and the pal febral pal febral this is bulbar area see here bulbar area pal febral area this is so when you pull like this here you will get a pouch like in the pouch itself accusert you have to insert this is accusert this is a size 13.5 this is a, a height and a length okay now it looks like this here also you can see accusert how they are inserted into that so these four layers are very very important transparent rate control first and four are same transparent rate controlling membrane it is made with the transparent only because it only allows the vision because it has to allow the vision no that's why it is made up of a transparent drug release from the drug reservoir into this eye is called as, as per our design okay it uh, so it is a rate controlling membrane keep in your mind it releases the drug slowly here drug reservoir is there drug this is a white ring annular ring or also called opaque white so here what i have shown this opaque white okay this is called annular ring it is made up of opaque white it is made up of titanium dioxide okay i will tell you in the coming slide it is made up of titanium dioxide okay and this is a drug reservoir essential for the drug treatment okay right and the preparation of accusers how you have to prepare uh, prepared by solvent casting method these are all the important part first polymer solution you have to be prepared uh, 24 hours you have to keep aside add 10% of the weight by weight plasticizer this plasticizer gives the flexibility out to the your accuser add weight amount of the drug and stir it for 4 hours okay and uh, degas you remove the gas okay and uh, cast it into a suitable uh, petri dish like this okay small petri dish not a big size or if you can take a big size later you can be cut okay uh, dispersion of was degassed it is a dry it for 50 degree centigrade 18 to 20 hours remove the dry films and you cut it and you pouch in the aluminium foil like that you can be prepared this is a classification of accusers ocular inserts if you see insoluble soluble bio erodible in the body itself they degrade they will be degrade this is bio erodible very very important all the diffusion insert osmotic insert contact lenses natural polymer sodi okay soluble dr ocular drug insert lacrisers mini dis collagen sheets all we will see this is a diffusional uh, accusert so this is a diffusional accusert moisture see here moisture enters here moisture will enter into the accusert drug will be there here inside so moisture from the tears it will be enter into the accusert and it will be take off it will be take off along with the drug see moisture of the tear exit 
here entry of the moisture into the accusert moisture will be uh, exit along with the drug so drug is outside now see here and this is follows the fixula fixula fistula this is the equation according to this the rate of the drug will be released very easy and osmotic pump it is having a two chambers osmotic pump see here this is a osmotic solute osmotic agent it draws the water from the eye so whenever it draws it will become a swell when it become a swell drug will be delivered into the eye through the orifice this is called a delivery orifice okay so water will enter here so it sells osmotic solute swells so uh, when it where it sells drug will be delivered outside this is a drug loaded contact lens generally contact lens we are using for the vision correction like see this is a contact lens see for contact lens for vision corrections okay instead of using a, these glasses we are using a contact lens but nowadays new concept you are using a drug delivery device for the eye also what you have to do is you take empty contact lens for vision correction you can be take it same contact lens you can be put in the drug solution just like a soaking now you remove this and you keep in your eye so drug will be delivered at the same time vision also will be corrected example is fluorosin drug administered by using a bionite lens okay so at that time one shot two birds okay two works vision correction as well as a drug therapy you will be get it and the sodi soluble ophthalmic drug insert it is also just like a polymer film and a drug it is mainly used for the spaces those they will go for spaces they are because there is no gravity since there is no gravity eye drops are not coming out from the bottle so what they will do soviet russia is developed this is great soviet russia developed this system so they will instead of putting eye drops they will keep this one this is already uh, soaked with the drug this is called as sodi see this is a sterile lacrisol see here we are inserting here this is called a, not the kulli sac here this is not kulli sac this is called a inferior fornix okay with the help of special applicator this is called a lacri cert insert just like a insert accusert lacri cert see here lacri cert it is a sterile rod shaped device made up of a hydroxy propyl cellulose without any preservatives and these are the measurements we are inserted with into the inferior cortex with a special applicator here you can see this is a special applicator okay here you can see uh, it is available 5 mg Uh, weight see here weight is 5 mg 5 mg is available like that it is available uh, it imbibes the water from the cornea conjunctiva it forms a hydrophilic film it stabilizes the one it is uh, okay mini disc very small see this is a thumb mini small it is called a mini disc name itself indicate very small it is a water soluble and it is a suitable for both water soluble drugs and poorly soluble drugs also can be uh, insert into that okay right and uh, and this is called a collagen sheet this collagen sheet we are preparing for the protection of the eye protects the cornea first layer see whenever there was a abrasion abrasion like this collagen sheets we are using because otherwise the position will become worst now what happen collagen is a body natural protein okay it is a bioerodible degrades in the eye itself it is dissolved in a liquid and it lubricates the eye mainly we are using for the treatment of dry eyes and some people they will not get the tears okay so we are, we have to use artificial tear artificial tears they need so instead of putting every our artificial needs so it is better to go with the collagen shield okay this replace see highly useful for those who did not produce the tears okay this is replaces the artificial tears okay and hydrate with the drug solution before placing into the eye and collazomes it is a new dosage form it is having a collagen shield along with the contact lens and see accusers having a some problems like a discomfort you can feel something is there in the eye because always we will feel because we have to take insert and eye movement for the eye movement it cause very discomfort interfere with the eye vision possibility is also there visual disturbances you will get like this and a loss of device during the sleeping are during the rubbing of the eye during the face wash 
and these are the advantages it enjoys the following advantages like a increased contact time more time contact time when compared with the eye drops everything increased bioavailability increased ocular permeability better therapy better efficacy in, uh, but decreased frequency of administration see increased frequency of administration is decreased uh, systemic absorption of the drug will be reduced so that it decreases adverse effects and patient complies more patient friendly and possibility of a drug targeting possibility of controlled release all are there and so i will end my session here same points you can write in the examination no problem at all don't write your uh, these points in the hindi because your examination is in the english only you have to write okay keep in your mind 